We're doing uh, problem two from the practice exam three. Um, so this one is asking us to find the sum of the series, if possible. It is possible because what we have here is a geometric series. So we're going to have to write it in the way that we can actually use that formula for the sum of a geometric series. Um, first of all, we can notice that we're starting at n equals three. So we might want to fix that first. So if we change that to n equals zero to infinity, which is where we need, need it to be to use that formula, if I'm lowering this by 3, then I need to raise these by 3. So I'll get 2 to the power of n plus 3 and 5 to the power of n plus 4. And then I can uh, use our properties of exponents to write this as 2 to the power of n times 2 to the third power over 5 to the power of n times 5 the fourth power. And then um, we can move the constants out in front. So we'll have 2 thirds over 5 to the fourth multiplied by the sum. And now we've got left 2 to the n over 5 to the n. That's the same as 2 fifths to the n power. And now we've got this in the form that we need it to be for um, using that formula. And so remember what that formula is. I'll just remind us here. It says that if you've got the sum starting at 0 of a r to the power of n, that's the same as a over 1 minus r. So in this case, a is this quantity here. So that is 8 over 625. Multiply that by the, I'm just putting the r out in front rather than in the numerator there times uh, 1 over 1 minus 2 fifths. And if you put that together, you should get the answer that we see, 8 over 375. So that's the sum of this series.